Today's design is inspired by these cute Shop XL sneakers I saw featured on Sparkle and Glamour. You'll need a thin art brush and dotting tools, along with the basics, tin foil for your polish palette, acetone, and a brush for cleanup, paper towel, and polishes. Mine are listed below. I'm also using these nail vinyls to create my half moon shape. I'll include a link below in the description to nailvinyls.com. Start out with a thin line of your cream color polish. This will be the tongue of the sneaker, and you don't need to worry about it being fully opaque because the majority will be covered by the laces and design. Add your red polish on either side of that, and don't worry about it going right to your skin because you will be adding a thin white line. Remove your nail vinyl, leaving behind your half moon shape. Fill in your half moon with a thin art brush and white polish. If you don't have nail vinyls, check out my tutorial on how to complete the half moon mani. I'll include a link below to that tutorial for you. Now using your thin art brush and the white polish, you're just gonna form a line at the edge of your nail, all the way up the side on both sides. If you get any on your skin, just clean it up as you go. Now using a small dotting tool or just your nail air brush, you're gonna add some very small dots to create the leopard pattern on the tongue of your sneaker. Using some red polish, you're gonna continue building the toe of your shoe. Just add in this arch shape on either side and you may need to go back in with a second or third coat. Using your thin art brush or toothpick, go in and outline your leopard shapes on the tongue of the shoe. You need those lines really fine because your dots are small. You may want to thin your polish a little bit with acetone to keep it nice and thin. To do that, I usually dip my brush in acetone and then drag it through the polish without wiping the acetone off the brush. Using your black polish, add in this line all the way around your nail outlining the sole of the shoe. Switching back to your white polish, you're going to add in the stitch lines. Be careful not to push your brush down too hard or your lines will be a little bit too thick. And you're going to do these stitch lines up both sides of the shoe as well. Using a dotting tool, or in my case a cuticle stick, I'm just adding silver dots up the side of the shoe. These will represent the lace holes. Be sure when you add the lace holes on the other side of the shoe that they're directly across from the holes on the other side. This will help line up your laces. Using white polish, you're going to create your shoelaces. First, draw a line straight across, connecting the first two dots. Then, you're going to crisscross, creating these X patterns representing the shoelaces. Be careful not to push your brush down too hard or your lines will become too thick. Once you get to the top lace hole, take your nail or brush and drag the white polish down representing the untied shoelace. Do this on both sides. To give your laces some dimension, take a sheer gray polish and just highlight either side of the white laces wherever they crisscross. Make sure you let those dry fully before you add your top coat. You're now ready to do your pinky and your index finger. I just created the half moon mani using the cream base for the tongue and the red polish that we used on the shoes and I'm creating the same small leopard print. Once your leopard print is done, you're going to outline that half moon just with a thin black line. Apply a top coat to everything, and you're done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated.